Hi y'all, it's Kimberly here. Today I'm going to mukbang and it's going to be Chinese food, one of my favorites. And I've got egg rolls and beef and broccoli with, I think, steamed rice. It's either fried rice or steamed rice. I, don't, I wasn't sure what she said. I just, <laughs> either one is fine. Okay, oh, okay. it is uh, steamed rice. Big old thing of steamed rice. And, oh, this looks so good. The beef and broccoli. It's got beef, broccoli, it's got some uh, tomato, uh, not tomato, carrot slices. Oh, gosh. Pretty big bowl. Yeah. I go to this little restaurant every once in a while, and I've been there for a long time. Actually, for several years I've been there. I got me three egg rolls. It usually comes with one, but I always buy extra. I love egg rolls. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I've got the sweet and sour sauce, soy sauce, and this is duck sauce. And let me see. Oh, good, they gave me a fork. <laughs> I was afraid they might have forgot. And a fortune cookie. And what is this? Oh, the mustard. Yeah, I don't I don't really care for that. But uh, I used to go to them a long time ago, and they used to give you a huge, like a, one of those big clamshells, and they would fill it full of rice on the bottom. And then they would put this, um, whatever topping you wanted, beef and broccoli, sweet and sour pork. They have several different combinations they put in there. And you just pick what you want, and, but now they've changed it to these smaller bowls. I like the big ones, and I used to eat the entire big one by myself. I don't know if I can do that now. So I'm going to mix some of this beef and broccoli in with my rice, because this other bowl is pretty full. I'm going to eat some of this with the rice first, and then maybe I can pour some of it into this bowl. I'm going to work my way through it first. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh. And I am so hungry. It is... 4.49 and I have not eaten anything today. I was gonna go get me something for breakfast, but I don't know, I slept late and then oh, I could eat. Oh my god. Mm. The best. Mm. I'm gonna put a little bit of this soy sauce on there. And I'm gonna save the sweet and sour sauce for the egg rolls. The duck sauce, actually I have never even I don't know. I've never even eaten this. Got me a little makeshift table. I had to put something over the console. So I can... Okay, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to see what it tastes like. This little packet of duck sauce. Mm, so, looks really good. I don't know what the flavor is, really. Now I'm going to squirt it all in there, in my rice, let's see. I, <coughs> I have to make um, egg rolls one of these days, I, I get my kitchen stuff um, situated. I'm sort of in the process of maybe moving, I don't know, I'm not sure. This pandemic is really just screwing everything up, you know. Okay, I'm going to put in some of this. Well, let me get a better taste of that duck sauce. Oh, I got lipstick all over my fork. I don't know why I put it on. Uh, I usually don't wear a whole lot of makeup, but when I started making the videos, I kind of tried. My makeup isn't like... I just throw it on there. I'm not real professional at it. I'm not... I would love to have somebody do my makeup. Mm. It's a little sweet, I think, the duck sauce. It's good. I'll eat it. Mm. Oh my gosh. I usually eat early
on my blood sugar. I had gained weight a few years back. I was real thin, real skinny, super healthy, you know, uh, like I've talked about all my workout, lifestyle and everything from years ago. And I would love to get back into that, or somewhat. I'm older now, but I still would love to be healthier. And Yeah, I had gained a little bit of weight, and it was more from stress eating from the situation I was in, and I had never gained weight before in my life. I was always real thin, real muscular, and all of a sudden I started putting on weight, and it's been kind of a struggle the past, I don't know, 10 or 15 years, you know. I'd go up and down in my weight, I guess a lot because I don't work out like I used to, and my appetite, when I was working out, I could put away three or four thousand calories in one day but when you're running ten miles a day and uh, swimming and working out in a dojo and in a hot sweaty dojo and, a, and going and lifting weights and doing that you can eat just about anything you want you never have weight problems when you're working out and uh, it's totally different when you sit on the couch and you don't do nothing <laughs> so uh, Someday would like to get back into that. Oh my god. That's so good. Mm. Oh, I bit my lip again. I always have trouble with that. Biting my lip because I think the way my placement and my teeth are messed up. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can already, already feel much better. I kind of have to be careful about my blood sugar because I, the doctor told me one time that since I was very thin all of my life and that all of a sudden I gained a lot of weight, that it threw my metabolism off, especially at my age, that at the age I was started gaining weight, I guess, I guess it was like in my late 30s, early 40s, and uh, kind of throws off your metabolism. You know, the more you, the older you get, you know, your metabolism gets a little bit more out of whack. And it's not the same as when you're young. You, know, you could eat a whole thing of cotton candy and five minutes later run it off. You'll be fine. <laughs> but it doesn't work that way when you get older. Oh, my God. Oh, so good. I'm making a mess. Yeah, I like to make homemade uh, egg rolls. I love to make Chinese food. I make beef and broccoli, all different kinds. I love to cook different foods. And yeah, eventually when I get more settled, I'm going to do some cooking videos, do some home mukbangs. But right now, this is why I'm doing the drive through mukbangs. Yeah, I would definitely eat all three of these. Mm. Excellent. Mm. And when I eat you know, I'm not real picky about my food. I'm not like a real connoisseur kind of foodie. <laughs> I always, we always had to eat whatever my mom cooked or you fend for yourself, you know. So I kind of grew up with that kind of, that kind of home life, you know. If you don't appreciate what mama cooks, you can starve or fend for yourself, you know. <laughs> So, I don't know, I guess I just have a pretty wide range of palate, and well, I had already told before, you know, the different kind of foods I grew up eating. You know, and also, I forgot a few things, um, I lived in Louisiana for 
about a year when I was a baby, and my sisters were born there, and I was probably about a year old, I guess, a year, two year and a half, or two years, I guess, and uh, I did eat alligator, which I don't remember, but apparently my mom said I liked it, and it's supposed to taste a little bit like chicken, so I don't know, and um, wild turkey, I forgot about that, yeah, for Thanksgiving, I've had that before, and all kinds of shellfish from the living in Louisiana, brought up, we lived on uh, Grand Isle, Louisiana, which is a little tiny island off the coast of Louisiana, so, you know, kind of around the Cajun area, and, well, there's The Cajun influence is pretty much, I think, pretty much in around all the coast of Louisiana. And probably other parts, I don't even know. But I remember my mom would tell us that. And I did learn a little bit of French when I was a baby, but I didn't really remember it, you know, because I was so young. But she said that I did uh, learn to speak some French. I was just learning, I learned to talk when I was nine months old, and uh, she said I did, you know, say quite a few things in French, and my mom learned a little bit, but we only lived there for about a year, so we really didn't get, you know, influenced into it. Uh, I would love to go back there. Uh. She said I really did like sucking on the crawdads as a baby just oh my gosh I can't even imagine that because I've seen you know the cooking shows and everything of that and I don't really like like what I see on the inside of those things the little crawfish thing that my mom said I loved them so oh uh, I don't know but I do love Oh, I love shrimp and crab. Oh my gosh. And lobster. Oh my gosh. I could eat that stuff all day long too. But Chinese food is one of my favorites. Mm. These big thick slices of carrot. I love that in Chinese food. It kind of puts a a little bit of sweetness, natural sweetness into it. Mm. But I've always liked carrots. Some people don't like them at all. You know, some people are real picky about the vegetables, but I'm not really too picky. I eat just about any vegetable, I guess. Except... Except for beets because they taste like dirt. I don't know what. I don't know. I tasted them a long time ago when I was little. Because my granny used to eat them all the time. So I tried to taste them and they were horrible. And then. I think it was like a, just a couple of years ago. I tried to. I was like uh, I'm going to redo this. See if I can eat these beets. Because I'm older now. And your, your taste buds change as you age. And. When you get older, you start to, they like mature, develop, or something, I don't know. And you can eat foods when you get older that you really didn't like then. You can acquire a taste for it, something. And I swear, it still tastes like a mouthful of dirt, so nope, I don't like beets. They were disgusting. Oh my goodness. I'm talking so much. I'm not even eating enough. <laughs> okay. Mixing in some of this rice into this bowl. I poured all that soy sauce in there. Oh my gosh. 
And I used to come to this little restaurant a lot when I was younger. And it's been around, gosh, I think for about 30, I don't know, a long time, at least 30 years, I'd say. And I think it was named something else. I'm not sure if they sold it to other people or, I mean, I can't remember. Or, I mean, I'm, I haven't been there in so long. I don't know if it's the same people or own owners or if they pass it on to their kids because I just don't remember and I haven't been there in so long but I used to go over there with friends and we would get our little plates and mm, it really wasn't very expensive it was like five something for the plate and you got two choices you know you get beef and broccoli a big old thing of rice and well actually that was the one one meal but they do have a two two entree meal and it was huge and it wasn't much more I think it was maybe like a couple of dollars more and it was gigantic you know it's a huge plate you know like double this size but they've cut it down you know times change and you know but it's still this is still a good pretty good well it was this costed me I think it was like thirteen twenty-five, but I ordered the extra egg rolls, so it would have been probably around a little, maybe like ten, maybe like nine something or almost ten dollars, which is about average, you know. Now, for a good takeout plate, you know, not not just burgers and fries. This is like really. I mean, really good Chinese food. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting another egg roll. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. You know, egg rolls are really easy to make at home. They're super easy. And I never knew that until just a few years ago. I never tried to make them because I thought, oh, they must be so hard to make. It took a long time, but they're not. They're really fast and really easy. And making your own hot, uh, not hot sauce. Homemade um, sweet and sour sauce. It's really easy, too. Well, you know, today when I woke up, I was looking on YouTube, and I didn't know this, but there was a post saying that people aren't going to post today because of the Black Lives Matter and the, you know, the horrible situations that have happened, and so I will not be posting, I'm recording it today, but I'm going to post it tomorrow, you know, um, I'm as white as a snowflake, but I don't think anybody should suffer any kind of injustice. It turned my stomach when I saw... I can't even talk about it hardly. I mean, I really did... Oh. It really did upset me. I don't want to talk too much about it right now, but... I'm mm. upset. But, so... I will be posting this the next day, which I mean, you won't know, but just, I want to say that, you know, Our price it's a dollar thirty. <laughs> yum yum. This is so good. Gosh, 
mushroom only maybe one third of the way through. <laughs> I hope I can eat it all. I think I'm hungry enough too. I need to replenish myself and my energy. And I usually eat something for breakfast or eat, you know, at least lunch. It depends on my schedule. And when I wake up. Because I'm kind of going through a thing with my job. I was working a night job and I was I had started working for DoorDash and it was going pretty good. You know, I really like DoorDash. I love delivering, you know, food and... Um... I did quit my night job to concentrate on this DoorDash, so my schedule is a little bit... I can make it to my own schedule, so I think it'll work out much better. Plus, uh, it was a financial decision also. Our hours were cut, and it was really, I mean, making it tough. And So... I'm going to roll with this and see what happens. You never know. Life is such a ride, and I've been on a lot of roller coasters. <laughs> mm. Well, um, I'm trying to keep my videos between 10 and 15 minutes long, so I don't know how long I've been on here. There's not a timer on my thing, on my camera, so... I'm using the one in the car and I haven't paid attention to it. And the air conditioner's ringing, so I hope it's not drowning me out. But this is so delicious. And mm, I'll let y'all see the broccoli again. Really big, huge chunks of broccoli and beef and the carrots and the rice with the soy sauce. And I've already eaten two of the egg rolls. I got one left. But y'all have a great day. And. I hope this world, I mean, it's got to get better. It will. I'm a positive person. I always think in that light. And I hope y'all do too. Thank you so much. I love all y'all. Thank you, all my subscribers. Happy. So thank you. And um, just have a great day. And like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.